Hi, I'm Chris Ortiz. I'm Luke Garcia. I'm Daniela Martinez. And today we are talking about the life and legacy of, of Alexander the Great. I am so sorry you had to see that nonsense. I am Dylan Lozano and today we will be talking about the life and the achievements of Alexander the Great. Let's get started. Act 1, Alexander's Childhood. In 356 BCE at Tela Macedonia, Alexander the Great was born. Being the son of King Philip II and Olympia, he was given the title of Alexander III of Macedonia. Who would have thought that this innocent bundle of joy <laughs> would later become one of the greatest leaders of all time? When Alexander was 12 years old, he tamed the untamable horse, Vesepolis. This act showed his greatness and power. Alexander, stop! Don't touch that beast! He's gonna hurt you! But well, mom, he's so cute! Since Alexander was 13 years old, Aristotle was his mentor. Aristotle's lessons inspired Alexander's interest in philosophy, medicine, and scientific investigations. If Alexander's father never asked Aristotle to tutor him, the future of Alexander would be very different. Hey you. Yeah. Aren't you great Aristotle the greatest philosopher of all time? Yes. Yeah. As I, your king, I grant you as the mentor of my son. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander, read this book. More? Yes, you should. Was that good? <laughs> Act 2. Alexander's Adulthood When Alexander enters adulthood, he becomes a master at combat, and later becomes an impeccable general. On 336 BCE, when Alexander was 20 years old, King Philip II was assassinated by the noble Persians. After his death, Alexander ensured his claim to the throne by killing other possible heirs. After his father's death, Alexander goes on to conquer many territories around the world. Well, now that your dad's dead, you're the next in line for heir. You are now the king of Macedonia. Yes. <laughs> Alexander's first act as king was achieving a series of wins to ensure complete control over Greece. He later conquered the Achaemenid Empire and later conquered the Persian Empire. I will rule it all. Act 3. Alexander's Death On 323 BCE, Alexander the Great died after 12 days of fever in Babylon. That's how it went down. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this documentary.
Thank you.